What's going on guys, and welcome to the next Forza Thon Weekly Challenge. In this video, I'll be showing you a basic run through of the challenges that bank you 100 Forza points. You can also double your rewards if you own this location on the map, which is located on the top left. Before we dig into the challenges, let's take a look into the weekly Forza Thon shop. For this week, we have a few interesting things. We have the Mercedes SL65 Forza Edition, which deals Drift Boost. Then you also have the Honda Civic Type R, but dishing out 800 points is overkill for these weekly price changes, which is stupid. Then you also have two other items, which I don't feel like bringing up. For seasonal events, there's a new vehicle that you need to own, and that's a Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. It's new to Horizon 4, but it has been in other games. This time around, it's sporting the 50th anniversary design, and I would seriously go check it out. Outside of those two, we have the Forza Edition Class 10 buggy and a black modern race suit. As for Fortune Island, it's the same as always, meaning nothing is worth completing over there unless you want normal wheel spins. Anyways, let's go dig into the challenges. In the first challenge, you need to own and drive the Mitsubishi Eclipse. If you haven't noticed the names of these challenges, then go make sure to throw on the iconic Fast and Furious design. Now this vehicle can be easily bought from the dealership or the auction house, and you'll need to exit the garage with the vehicle. If it doesn't trigger right away, then go drive around the block for a few seconds. For a second challenge, you need to win 6th Street Racing Scene events while using your Eclipse. There is no shortcuts in this challenge, meaning you cannot use custom routes. You will have to use the races that Playground has made across the map. So I'll go find one of those events and make sure you win every race. In the third challenge, you'll win 5 drag racing events while using your Mitsubishi. I would honestly upgrade your car because Buster will need that extra power against those drive -atars. The best place to do this will be located at the festival site and there's no special setup that you need to do. Just run normal drag races on the easiest difficulty. Now for our final challenge, you need to earn 5 show off skills in your Eclipse. This consists of a drift skill and a pass skill together, but you need to do this inside of a race with drive -atars. I would try to set the difficulty somewhere in the middle so you're in the middle of the lineup when you start the race and try to pass them on the first few corners. After you pass all the vehicles, then you'll need to restart the race because you can only pass these vehicles once to trigger the pass skills. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this week in Horizon 4. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.